Assalamu alaikum. Today's lesson is about present simple and present continuous. We will discuss the difference between present simple and present continuous. Present simple من اسمه اللي هو المضارع البسيط. Present continuous برضو من اسمه اللي هو المضارع المستمر. Okay. كتير في عنا ناس بتخربط بين present simple and present continuous بتخربط باستخدامه. من الأخطاء الشائعة يلي بتصير إنه في ناس بيحطوا is أو are أو am إحنا بنسميهم من helping verb مع الفعل البسيط وبيستخدموه ك present simple بيعتقد إنه هذا هيك present simple. هذا الموضوع كثير منتشر عند الطلاب لهيك بدنا نركز منيح لنفرق بين present simple and present continuous. Look at uh, the examples. The first one is present simple. اللي هو he is a chef. He cooks delicious food. هو شيف وهو بيطبخ أكل زاكي. طيب شو المعنى من هاي الجملة؟ إيش معناها؟ معناها إنه هو بيطبخ بشكل عام الأكل زاكي يعني هي something in general بنسميه لهيك استخدمنا ال present simple look at the verb ال verb عندنا الفعل بيتكون من ولا إشي يعني ما في لا is ولا are ولا am قبله بس الفكرة اللي بدنا نفهمها واللي احنا أخذناها كتير بصفوف قبل ضفنا s أو بنضيف e s للفعل لما يكون ال subject عندنا singular فهي تاخذ cooks she تاخذ cooks it تاخذ cooks بينما I تاخذ cook they cook you cook we and uh, we yes cook طيب هاي in general هو طباخ وهو بيطبخ اكل زاكي تعال نشوف المثال الثاني في عندنا key word اللي هي now وهون بدنا نركز منيح لما حطينا now غيرنا بالفعل صار he is cooking صار الفعل is Okay. حطينا هل في الفرب اللي هو is لأنه subject عنا he فالهي بتاخد is والفعل بنحط له ing إذا هون غيرنا we change the whole verb we added ing to make it continuous إذا هون بنفرق بين الـ present simple present continuous من الشكل العام إنه الـ present simple ما حطينا لا is ولا are ولا am ولا حطينا ing بينما الـ present continuous ضفنا شغلتين نركز ضفنا شغلتين is أو are أو am والفعل حطينا له i n g طيب ايش معناها صار؟ صار معناها انه هو الان بيطبخ آه وجبه جديده او وصفه جديده، الان بدي اميز انه الان عم بصير هذا الموضوع. اوكي. Another example I am a builder I build houses انا بناء وانا ببني بيوت. انا ببني بشكل عام In general, أنا متعود أبني. مش عم بحكي عن يعني وقت معين عم بصير في هذا الموضوع. بينما في المثال الثاني at the moment في keyword اللي هي في هذه اللحظة أنا عم ببني بيت جديد. بدي أبين للناس إني أنا الآن عم ببني بيت جديد. مش شرط إني أنا بناء ممكن أنا ما يكون وظيفة إني أنا بناء لكن الآن عم ببني البيت الجديد. Okay, another example. She works very hard uh, most of the time. هي بشكل عام بتدرس أو بتشتغل منيح بتشتغل بجد. بينما المثال الثاني at the moment في هاي اللحظة she is chatting in the workplace. في هاي اللحظة هي عم تحكي بمكان العمل. So at the moment من الكيوردز المهمين والضروريين لا present continuous. The simple present برضو إله keywords رح نناقشهم الآن بالتفصيل. Now let's go deep in the details. The present simple use. When do we use present simple? First, to talk about habits and routines. بشكل عام المضارع البسيط نحن أخذنا كثير عنه إنه بيحكي عن habits, routines, things in general, facts, مثلا حقائق. لهيك نحن بدنا ناخذ بس كم مثال بنوضح أكثر موضوع ال present simple. في عنا كي وورد اللي هي usually في فبنحكي she usually works at home سؤالي ليش حطينا اس لورك بكل بساطة لأنه she اجت الفاعل فهي singular لهيك we add uh, or we added s to the verb she usually works at home the next one they they is plural لأنه جمع ما بنحط اس للفعل فبتصير they always walk to school so الجمع بضل الفعل مجرد المفرد بنحط مع الفعل اس او اي اس 
ذا لاست وان اي نيفر ايت اي بعملها معاملة الجمع فما بحط معي فيها الاس او اي اس اعتقد الموضوع واضح وتكرر كثير ب يعني بصفوف سابقه موضوع البريزنت سمبل بس احنا راجعناكم شوي بالموضوع حتى تفرقوا بين البريزنت سمبل والبريزنت كونتينوس اوكي Now present continuous to talk about something that is happening at the moment or now. Something is happening now. If the other thing is going to be seen at the end, in this moment, it will continue. In this moment, in which I am talking about, I will use the present continuous. What is it? I am paying attention. Look at the example. I need to take the am. And if we put the am, I need to add to the verb ing. So I am paying attention to the teacher. Now I am talking to my classmate. Now or at the moment. Okay. Now the clues of simple verb or simple present. زي ما بنعرف يعني أنا often and always, never, usually, seldom, every week, every day. These are clues to identify present simple. For example, we have I always go to school. Another example, I clean my room every Sunday. طيب إذا كانت she أو he إيش بتأخد؟ بيحكي آه he clean بتصير he cleans his room every Sunday. لأنه he و she و it بدنا نتذكر إنه بيجمعهم s. The clues of present continuous عنا at the moment عنا now right now today كلهم بستخدمهم في present continuous إذا شفناهم في الجملة بنحط ing للفعل زائد فعل مساعد. إذا ما ننسى helping verb plus ing to the verb. I am studying English now. Okay, let's go to the next one. عشان نعمل الجملة affirmative, negative, interrogative بدنا نمشي على هاي الخطوات. Let's go first to the affirmative form. I am walking. جملة مثبتة. أنا عم بمشي الآن. ال I تاخذ آن والفعل ing. She, he, it, take, is the verb with ing. You, we, they. They are plural. They take R and the verb we add to the verb ing. To make negative, like making negative is very easy because we only add not to the helping verb. ما راح نضيف helping verb من عنا. The helping verb موجود. لا راح تحط do ولا does ولا أي helping verb. The helping verb عنا موجود زي عنا في الجملة الأولى. I am not walking. النفي إلها I am not walking. She is walking. But say she is not. He he is not. You you are not. We we are not. And they they are not. Okay. Now to make a question, focus with me, please. أول شيء بنعمله بناخد the helping verb بنحطه بالأول. يعني إذا كانت الجملة I am walking بنحط أول شيء am بنحط الفاعل I then the verb ing وبنحافظ على ال ing ما بنشيله من الفعل شوفوا المثال الثاني is he or is she or is it walking بعدين عنا or بنحط ال or بالأول بعدين you or we or they then the verb ing هون بنكون خلصنا موضوع ال questions طيب إذا بدنا نحط what بنسأل الإمام بدنا نسأله يعني الإمام بدنا نسأله إيش أنت عم تعمل الآن؟ what are you doing now؟ or what am I doing now؟ what am I doing now؟ I am watching TV or I am uh, like I'm playing football I'm playing basketball whatever you're whatever you're doing the next one what are you Doing or my you or my we or my they. We'll put that in doing. What is she or what is he doing? Examples. What are you doing? I am watching TV, as we said before. Okay. Look at the picture and now answer the question. The question is, what is she doing? He is شو عم تعمل الآن? So what is she doing? The answer is. We're going to put the only she subject. She. Then the helping verb is then the verb ing. She is dancing. Good job. She is dancing. Look at the next picture. Look at this man. If I want to ask a question about him, the question is, what is he doing? What is he doing? The answer will be, yes, he is eating. 
We have to add ing to the verb. Don't forget that. And don't forget the helping verb as well. What is he doing? He is eating now. He is eating at the moment. Good job. What are they doing? What are they doing? They are playing football. Good job. They, because like they are a group of people, are, because this is the helping verb, this is the suitable helping verb for the plural uh, now, and doing, because it is continuous. They, sorry, uh, they, they are playing. They are playing football. Good job. Look at this cute cat. What is it doing? It, because it is an animal. So, this and what is it doing? And the answer will be, it is uh, sleeping, for example. Yes. Now, look at this picture and you must compose a question about it. Compose a question. What? Are, because they are plural, they doing. What are they doing? Good job. And the answer will be, they are singing. They are singing. Yes. Okay, look at this picture and try to guess more than one question about it. The first question could be, um, what are, yes, they doing? What are they doing? The answer will be, they are watching TV. They are watching TV. Another, another question could be, what are they watching? What are they watching? What kind of show? What kind of program? You can guess. And another question may be, where are they sitting? Moengradin. Where are they sitting? Or what are they eating? What are they eating? I think um, these examples are enough to understand the difference between simple present and present continuous. And um, after this video, I'm going to send you some links or some interactive worksheets to make sure that you understood the whole material. So make sure that um, you focused carefully with me in the video. And um, later on, we're going to discuss some questions and some exercises about the rule.